And so a few last things to remember. Um, almost all deals fail. And so as you go through processes like these, don't get frustrated. This is sort of the name of the game. Expect it will fail, actually. And just work in a disciplined manner to talk and lay everything out on the table and be transparent. And that's probably the easiest way to very quickly judge whether it's looking like a success or a failure. Um, both you and the acquirer must be in 100%. They, you must be committed. And what I mean by that is, let's say you've been working on a company for quite a while. You're a little bit tired. You're feeling burned out. An acquisition is not the path to your vacation. It is the opposite. And so you need to be far more energized than you ever have been. And if you feel like you can't give this new chapter of your company the energy it deserves, it is not going to end well. And you have to deeply, deeply understand that. The same is for the acquirer. And so it's really important to understand, because they're a larger company, they have strategic initiatives. Where do you fit in to their strategic priorities and their market needs? And do you see that need continuing long term? Or is this a hobby thing that they're experimenting with but probably won't invest in? Try to learn, meet as many people and learn as much about that as you possibly can. And as I mentioned, this is just the start of the journey. This is going to be four years of your life. And so you cannot see this as an exit. 